Welcome back to an, another edition of Eat My Shorts. I've got a kind of an interesting complaint for the internet. And I'm going to lay this out here and you can pick through the madness here and kind of figure it out for yourself. Okay. On a live stream, somebody was watching and uh, Bjorn popped in, right? To, I think it was Germanic Pagan Philosophies. Yeah, I like the guy's channel. He does some interesting shit sometimes. Go check him out. And, you know, I'm reading the chat and stuff. We'll meet a bologna sandwich. Shout out to those and bread and butter pickles with real mayonnaise. Right? It's the only way to fly. And they're talking about people getting on other people's case because of their religion. Okay? And I don't discuss religion often. When I do, I usually catch a lot of heat for it. You know? My beliefs aside from what I believe in. The idea of arguing with somebody over religion is probably the dumbest fucking idea that I've heard in a long time. I'm going to tell you why. People that are going to change are going to change. People who are not going to change, you're wasting your breath. Okay? Regardless of what side of what religious fence, if you even fall on one, you are on. If I were, let's say, an atheist... And, let's say my friend Loretta is a Christian, right? She's a Christian, I'm not an atheist, but just for the sake of this argument. And I tell her, there is no God, you're wasting your time. And she tells me, yes, there is, and you're wasting your time. People are just going to disagree on shit. And we leave it at that, right? What I've seen others do, and I'm not putting anybody under the bus here because that's just not the way things are done. I've seen people argue with each other, especially in like Bible-centric live streams where they're talking about God and religion and stuff. And one of them will cherry pick a, a little exhibit from one of the verses, right? And then the chat will light up, say, no, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. Or somebody else will be like, no, you're doing it right, shut up. And they'll fucking go at it. It's kind of a lost cause. Like, I tell people all the time, if you want to lay the truth out there, the burden of acceptance is on the other human being. Okay? You know, I don't generally dive into those topics. Like, I'll mock politicians or whatever, but I don't make a mockery of religion, at least in my public life here on the Internet, because... Once you open the door to that kind of crazy, it's hard to get her to go out, right? It's just hard to get that kind of crazy to leave your life. Like, picking fights with people about their religious or personal beliefs, I think, is probably one of the most unproductive wastes of time there is. I mean, there's obvious exceptions to that, but, but the vast majority of the mean-spirited poking, you know, that stuff is just unproductive and it's not helpful, and if anything, it makes the other person dislike you. Now, when you're trying to help somebody come around to your way of thinking and you're not being a dick about it, that goes a lot farther. And I guess I'll kind of leave you with the uh, quote, my dad left me for such arguments in life. People always tell you you catch more flies with honey than vinegar, but the thing you catch them with most is usually bullshit or horse shit. Just throwing it out there. You ever seen a pile of shit that didn't have flies on it in the summertime? gold star for you, because I've yet to see that, you know, and, and I think people are attracted to bullshit, now my specific variety of canned bullshit, you know, I'm just, I'm a madman rambling in his phone while he has a lucky strike after his lunch, you know, I don't often delve into the waxing and the waning and the fizz, you know, the, uh, philosophical, the philosophy end of things in life, you know. I just don't have those kind of deep thoughts very often. I'm mostly working hungry, cranky, angry, lonely, tired, or horny. And sad. That's kind of that's kind of where my emotional range goes. And sometimes it's all at once, sometimes it's just blah. You know. 
But, you know, there's a lot of wonderful Christians out there, and there's a lot of wonderful non-Christians out there. And I think that religion has been used as a divide to make people not get along with each other for a long time. That way governments can control them. <coughs> so as always, if you uh, don't like what I have to say, and uh, you don't like my thoughts on the matter, you can eat my shorts and uh, have a fantastic rest of your day. I got shit to do.